back, everyone. Mary Tyler's chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution honored Vietnam War veterans today. The event was planned to recognize the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. KDK's Karen Pritchard right now joining us live in our studio with more. You know, Casey, today was about honoring those men and women for their sacrifice and service, telling them thank you and welcome home, something they didn't hear when they returned from the Vietnam War. It remains a very controversial topic that continues to affect political and military decisions today. The Vietnam War. We fired 24 hours a day. John H. Ferguson served for a year in 1967. He was an operations sergeant for an eight-inch howitzer unit. When I came back, I went to Washington, D.C., and that was, that was during the riots. He says they were called baby killers. We were not allowed to travel in uniform on airplanes, on, on civilian airplanes. Jordan Moses was an Army aviator and served in Vietnam a total of five years. The experience became known as the only war America ever lost. We made a lot of mistakes. Big, biggest one was uh, the restrictions they put on, uh, on the, uh, where you could go and what you could do uh, over near the border. Because of that, many people had negative feelings toward military personnel. Today, you know, when I go to like an airport or something and I see these servicemen being greeted, it's completely different from when I served, yeah. So that's what this 50-year commemoration is really about, honoring those who made the sacrifice and didn't receive a thank you. Just tell them, welcome home, and you don't know how much that will make their day because they were never told that. All of them say it was their duty to serve their country, no matter how hard it got. Now I've got a nice plaque <laughs> as a reward. Throughout the month of November, a Vietnam War display is on the third floor of the library at UT Tyler. And if you see a gentleman wearing a Vietnam veteran hat, be sure to tell them welcome home. Reporting live in the News Update Center, Kara Pritchard, KETK News.